welcome to John Eats Cheap. We're going to do another uh, one that Mrs. Cheap found. She finds so many great recipes. This is homemade pretzel bites with a cheese sauce. Sounds really good, and you use a tube of pizza crust. Pillsbury, the grocery stores, they all have this nowadays. So uh, let's get started. If I can find where to open it. I haven't opened one of these in a long time. Remember, I always wanted to when my mom would do it, you know, when we were kids. You unpeel it. Sometimes it pops on you right then. Now, the official directions say to use a spoon, but I want to do it like we used to do it. There, yeah. Tube of pizza crust. Get out of there. And we're just going to unroll it. And this is what we'll make our pizza bites out of. I've actually, when I worked in the restaurant, we used to make we used to make like donuts out of the pizza dough too, just little sugar donuts. So there we go. Now we just need to break off pieces and roll them into balls, just like that. This is pretty easy so far. I got the oven preheating. Also, I'm getting a big old pot of boiling water ready to go because we have to cook the pretzels in that first. Maybe, I, should I make one like pretzel too, maybe? I don't know how to, you know how when they, when they fold the pretzels, they do that fancy flip? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that here. I'll just try making one pretzel. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know if it'll puff up enough or not. I probably should have made it bigger, I'm guessing. But they do, you know, they do that flip thing or something. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it. But it's kind of, kind of like that, right? Nah, that's not going to work very well. That's okay. We'll go back to the bites. <laughs> I never worked at Auntie Anne's. Last one. There's our pretzel bites. Got to get the water boiling. All right, I'm still waiting for my water to boil, so I got to I got to try this pretzel again. Don't they? Do they do that? Yeah. Yeah. Right? They do that. Mm. Whoop. She broke. And then they, like, yeah. That's just, I wasn't made to, that's why we make bites. I am going to make this work. Now I don't even remember how I did it. You, like, twist it, right? And then you fold it. Yeah, I think it's, it's just not going to work. Forget it. We're just, we'll just make two more bites. <laughs> it's too doughy. All right, our water is boiling or close enough. I got a quarter cup of baking soda. And now we add the bites. And we're just going to cook these for about 30 seconds is all. So I'm going to try and get them in there fairly quick. cheese sauce to make, too. All right. Just boil these in the water for 30 to 40 seconds. Got, I got one floater. Oh, there's another one. Maybe that means they're done when they float. I don't know. Oh, there's a little fellow there. They like dumplings. All right, boy, we got that little feller. Boy, that's heating up a lot of water for just less than a minute cooking time. All right, I declare these cooked 30 seconds. So now we'll pull them out. 
I'm just going to put them on a plate first so the water can drip off a little bit. They're not the prettiest things, are they? They look like a mistake. And I've made a lot of food mistakes. We'll cook that little guy too. So there's our, ooh, those are still really doughy. There's our pretzel bites. Ooh, that is a really weird consistency. They're sticky and doughy. Not dewy. I don't know how well these are gonna, I guess they'll bake up a little bit. I don't know, this is gonna be interesting. We're experimenting with food. And I've got a beaten egg here, so we will make an egg. I've got an egg wash there that we'll kind of put on. Where's our little guys going? There we go. All right, let me grab a paper towel here. Brush just with beaten egg. This is what will give it that brown color. So it'll look more like a pretzel. And then we'll sprinkle some sea salt on it. I only have regular sea salt. I don't have that really good pretzel salt, but it'll taste the same. Got the oven heating up to 425. Now to sprinkle the salt. I like a lot of salt on my pretzels. Because then they make you thirsty, right? These pretzels are making me thirsty. All right, into the oven until they're golden and look done. It's supposed to be about 10 to 12 minutes, I think. 425 oven. Started on our cheese sauce. Start with half a stick of butter. And we're just going to let that melt a little bit here. And a quarter cup of flour, equal parts, quarter cup of each. And just make that into a roux. This is kind of like how I make my macaroni and cheese, the cheese sauce for that. Just cook it for a couple of minutes. All right, we're going to whisk in two cups of milk. lumps out and when that starts to thicken up we'll add our, the rest of our ingredients now we're gonna add two cups of shredded extra sharp cheddar cheese whisk that in add some salt some pepper. You'd probably add a little heat to it too if you wanted. Add a little cayenne maybe. But we're just going to make this plain old cheese sauce. And it is going to be saucy. It's not going to be extra thick, it doesn't look like. I'm doing it by the recipe. Usually I just kind of eyeball and add milk, you know, until it gets to the consistency I want. But I'm following a recipe here. So that's starting to thicken up, get melted. Cheddar's a tough cheese to melt. It takes a while to melt. And it is thickening up a little bit there. And Mrs. Cheap said, yeah, that's going to be a lot of sauce left over. That'd be good on broccoli or cauliflower. And I bet it will be. Now we add a couple teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Now, I don't know what that's going to do to it, but we're supposed to add it. And about a tablespoon and a half of honey mustard. You know, pretzels with mustard. Just dirtied up my kitchen a little. 
Oh, yeah, that'll be good with uh, the pretzel bites. That's some good flavor in there. Thicken it up real nice, so I'm going to turn my heat. I'm going to turn it off and just let the ambient stove heat work. Got to check my pretzels. Oh, boy, those got big. Woo! Those puffed up. Pretzel bites made with a tube of pizza crust with the cheese sauce. I gotta find like the perfect one. Remember this little guy? There's the little guy. I'm just gonna try that just on its own. Tastes like a pretzel. All righty. Cheese sauce. Cheesy with the honey mustard. That's a good cheese sauce and that will be good on vegetables. Nice, soft, and chewy, doughy. I could use more salt. I see some of them got more salt, but hey, nice homemade appetizer. Didn't take too long, not too tough. That's a pretzel. And not the crunchy kind. I haven't had a soft pretzel in forever. Pretzel bites and cheese sauce is a hit. Got the thumbs up from Mrs. Cheap. Cheap Jr. is here. Dewey even got a little bit of cheese sauce that got spilled. It's good stuff. Oh. Hey, subscribe. Get notifications. We post two videos a week at least. And keep suggestions coming on stuff you'd like to see us make with John Eats Cheap. This one is really kind of cheap and homemade, tasty, and easy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>